Hi friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and friends, I am so glad that you are with me and I have with me something that maybe you're familiar with it. It's, it's a candle. You like candles? I do. I think that's pretty and seeing that flame, the, the fire flicker in the, and, and give us light. And why would I need that? Well, if the power goes out, I might need a candle so I could see my way around. It's not a birthday candle and it's not my birthday. So that's not why I would have a candle. I have a candle to try to maybe help us understand something that Jesus wants us to be. But what do I need to do? I mean, right now the candle's not going to help me. If the power goes out, it's going to be dark in here, right? What do I need? I need to light it. How do I do that? Oh, with a match. Yeah. Do I have a match? Uh, not since Superman's been gone, but let's try this. So we strike the match and we touch the match to the wick. There. We have fire. We have a candle. And it, a candle is given off light. It also gives a little heat, which feels good as it's kind of cold outside. But uh, the candle is really a big help. You know that Jesus says you and I are kind of like a candle? He calls us a light. The Bible says, Jesus is speaking, he says this in Matthew chapter 5, starting at verse 14. He says, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house light to everyone in the house in the same way let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven so when we have jesus in us we are letting his light shine through us by the way that we treat other people the way we talk to other people the way we help other people the way we uh, treat our parents and uh, so we're the light of the world and we should never be ashamed of Jesus. In fact, the Bible says if we're ashamed of him, he'll be ashamed of us. But we're all light and people need to see us. Now, if it's dark, this candle will really be bright. But in the light, it's not as bright because we already have light around us. But in a darkened world where there's a lot of sin, uh, people doing things that they shouldn't do, people doing things that go against God's word, saying things that they shouldn't say, then the light kind of goes dim. But that verse also said you, that they wouldn't put it under a bowl. You know, if you put it under maybe a, a grass bowl or something, it'd catch on fire. But what would happen if we put this under a bowl? Well, what happens is the oxygen inside gets eaten up and the flame gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then it goes out. If we were to take and hide that we know Jesus, we wouldn't want other people to know that we love Jesus, then our light goes out. We don't have what we need. We need to be outside of the jar. We need to let others see that we love Jesus by the way that we treat them and we help them and we love on them so that we can be a light. And when we blow it, when we mess up, we go to Jesus we say, Jesus, I'm sorry, I messed up. I sinned. I went against what your word says. Please forgive me. And he restores our light. And he makes us new, brand new, because he loves us with an everlasting love. Now let's go be a light for him in the way that we talk to others, in the way we love on each other, because we are loved by Jesus. All right, friends. Bye-bye.